Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back. And I do have a treat for you today. I heard what you said. I heard what you asked for. And I brought my client back to let you get another chance to look and see what's under this install. So some of you stayed around for part two. Some of you did not. And if you did, we only left this one in for six weeks. The other one we left in for a little bit longer. And I just wanted you to see a difference. It's really hard up under here, you guys. It's kind of rocky. It's kind of concretey <laughs> and it's really dusty and flaky so you know a lot of that's dislodged from the frequent shampoos that she does get weekly I have no idea why some of you people thought that I put this in and this lady does not shampoo her hair at all and that's not the case she still shampoos her hair weekly it does look like it's a lot going on in here and it is a lot going in here but nothing is alive you know nothing is wet Everything that's moving around and that's 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 moving around is dried up and it's already, you know, been dried up for a really long time. So it's not like anything is really happening right there. And when you see the discoloration of the flakes, that's let you know that that it is something medical going on because they're a little yellowish in color and that lets you know that there's something more than just simply dandruff going on there. Here's some um really big ones. This side, this left side, you guys, this was this is a really good area for us. And I'm learning now, you know, that her plex psoriasis really flares up on this on this left side. So this is this is officially, you know, our side. The detangling process is going to be extremely important because I said on the other video, hair sheds 75 to 100 strands a day, whether it's up or not. So being that this has been up all this time, it's still shedding those strands. When we start shampooing it, and if we don't detangle it first, then those trapped hairs travel down and they become locked in the hair. And you have what looks like dreadlocks or it becomes, you know, just entirely too detangled. And that's with or without extensions. That's anyone who hasn't combed their hair in a while. If you just shampoo it without detangling it, you're going to be in for a really, really big mess. And by mess, I mean matte ball. And I did promise you guys that I did hear your cries. You said put on some gloves. You said wear a mask. And I do have it. And I'm ready to work. I'm ready to do the work. But I do forget sometimes still. Okay, so some of you guys are going to know about the process that we're about to do. And some of you are not. Uh, this is going to be a relaxer, so she's not going to get another extension service uh, today. She's going to get a chemical service today, and not one, but two. So she has 100% natural hair, and that means she has not had any kind of chemicals on it. And we're going to give her a color, and we're going to give her a relaxer. So we're going to go from naturally curly to chemically straightened. And because of that, I can't irritate her scalp at all technically so I know you guys really want to see a scratch video and I'm gonna show you some scratches some really good ones so this what I'm doing right now I would not suggest doing it in real life this right here isn't um, what I would want you to do on dry hair especially on a scalp that you're about to do a chemical service on and not and only because of this the reason why we say don't scratch is because when you scratch, you act, you're actually putting microscopic tears in the skin. That's even that's on any body part, especially when you're you're dry. If it's not lubricated, the skin doesn't have a chance to, you know, stretch, and and the skin isn't as pliable as it as it would be. So when you're scratching, you're adding to the issue. And like I said, this is not contagious. This is a disease. But there's a certain bacteria that lives on our body, on all of our body, that covers every last soul's body, good and bad bacteria. And when you open those, the scalp up to those microscopic tears, you allow the body to be susceptible for that, that bacteria to enter the body. And it could make an issue worse. So we know right now that's not what this is. But the only reason I would say don't scratch like this would be for that reason now this isn't a hard scratch and i'm going to base really really good and you're going to see all of that so i just want you to just hang in there and stay with the video so you can see not only this process just learn a little bit more about what's going on with hair care and um 
why I'm not really, really, really stressing the scratch on this part of the video is because I really, really, it's not, it's not advised if you're going to do a chemical service. So this is going to be our protective base cream and this is going to be a barrier between the chemical and the scalp and it has some cool menthols in it so it's going to have you know it's going to make the scalp feel really good so one thing about the relaxer is well i know some people are going to have an issue with it but i feel that a, a relaxer is okay for her to have number one because she requested it um and you know i, I, I you want to consider the client's request and number two i don't i don't see a reason why she shouldn't be able to get it it's it's not designed to touch the skin or go on to the scalp at all anyway so when people are having issues with a relaxer and it did this and it did that that's because of improper application you're not eh, this is a virgin relaxer application so that means that we're going to put the relaxer the chemical on every inch of her hair strand so we're going to start in the mid shaft right here the mid shaft because number one the hair closest to the scalp is a lot warmer to and because it's closer to the body so that means it's going to activate the chemical and it's going to process faster the closer it is to the heat source so and then you know the the hair on the tips of our hair the ends that's more porous so it's going to absorb the chemical a lot faster than the mid shaft will so that's why we leave the tips alone for now and we just hit the mid shaft up and we add the um the chemical all the way through now, Relaxa goes through three phases. It goes through a phase where, you know, you moisten the hair down, then the hair begins to soften, and then you have um, the straightening phase. So you have a chemical change, then the hair goes through a physical change. So the chemical change is actually just the product working, and it, you have to apply it to where it works evenly. At, after you get through that, the application phase, then you're going to go back there and smooth it, and that's when you're going to, you know, um, add it a little bit closer to the scalp and bring it on th through the tips. And when you come back after that, well, that's when, when, when the smoothing starts. And that's when the physical change comes into effect to where you actually have to do something to create the, the look, you know, that you want. Um, the difference between the texturizer is the texturizer, you put it on and you don't make the, the hair go as smooth or as straight as you would with you know, a relaxer. Relaxer just means it's relaxing the curl pattern. That's why we don't say perm. Perm you use in terms of permanent wave, which we are going to permanently wave the curl pattern. So now we're applying it, like I said, closer to the scalp without touching it. I know it looks like it, but I'm going to show you closer up in just a minute the how, you know, close we're getting it without actually touching the skin and scalp. But we did base all of her entire head. So if we did accidentally get some a little closer to her scalp or on the scalp, we don't have to worry about it um, acting as fast or having an impact on her flesh as it would because we've already protected that. Now she asked for a relaxer because she's going to be taking more control of doing her own hair um, now that we're not going to be ha having the extensions in. Now some of you suggested that you know, she shave her head. You suggested that she stop wearing the extensions, that she get a short haircut. You, they, there were the lots of, 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 of suggestions. And some of those were just not her thing. You know, you have to respect people's wishes. And that was that, that's not something that she wanted. And another thing that she doesn't really want is the medicine that was featured in part one and part two of the previous videos was a medicine by the name of Instellar, and that's her prescribed medicine, and we actually love the benefits of that medicine. But it leaves the hair so greasy. It's it's no way you can style it. So this another reason why she wants to do this, because she's still going to maintain her regular two-week appointment, but with between that week, she's going to shampoo her hair with her prescribed medicine, and then shampoo, a spray that spray between her 
parts onto her real hair and just wear that, you know, less styled, maybe ponytail pulled back or something for a week before she comes back. I like to tell my clients anything is better than nothing. So I'm happy when they take the effort to do something. And now this is the stabilizer. So the stabilizer is doing a little bit more on a chemical level. It's actually ch ch changing you know, sodium hydroxide into sodium chloride. But, you know, that that's neither here nor there. That goes more into the science of that, and that's not what y'all are here for. So um, I just want you to look at the scalp. I've still done no real scratching. A lot of the flakes have exposed themselves and loosened up, and, like, they're ready to come out of there. But I don't want to put – I don't want to scratch them yet because now we have to do her hair color. And if I scratch them up, I may expose too much fleshy skin, and it may um, have an adverse effect. Uh, effect with the hair color this is going to be a demi permanent hair color it's not a, a permanent color so it's going to only penetrate halfway through the hair shaft and it's not using a strong peroxide so it's it's really safe to use immediately following a relaxer because the relaxer is going to raise the ph of the hair shaft and it's going to open up the cuticle and it allows for the color molecule to enter the cuticle without doing so much work itself it kind of piggybacks off of what the relaxer's already done, and it's able to go in and um, and color her hair up where we need it to get colored. Now I will do this on um, this. This goes all the way to the scalp, so I will do a scalp application with the demi permanent color after a relaxer. And um, just because it, you know growing out of her scalp is going to be the gray, so hey, <laughs> why not? And you know, that's just what we do. So now the color has to process for about 30 minutes. Once it processes, we're gonna rinse it. Then we're gonna do our neutralizing shampoo twice. We're gonna follow that with our reconstructive conditioner for about 10 minutes under the dryer. And the reconstructive conditioner goes back under the dryer again for another processing time. The steam opens up the hair shaft and reconstructs. It rebuilds everything that the chemical services broke down. And now that we've taken it out, we're just going to take advantage of that softened up scalp and that softened up everything from the steam of the conditioner. And we're going to go into scratching now. I promised you a scratch video and that's what you get. Hey, okay, I hope you guys are really vibing with what I have going on so far. I really thought about uh, how I was going to present this video to you. And honestly, this client has already come back for her second um, service since I recorded this. So I've already recorded her return visit so you can see exactly what her scalp looks like. 
This was two weeks after the chemical service, and uh, I want you to see what it looks like. So that'll be on a video that I may upload Friday, this Friday coming up. So, you know, depending on what time you, what day you watch this video, you will may be able to just go straight to part four. So look for it. I have it in a folder together so you guys can see them all at the same time. But I, I really do want to work with companies, cosmetic companies, that I can, you know, utilize some of this platform and and run some tests or some trial er, some trial services on my clients to see how they respond to, you know, some of the cosmetic companies that are on the market because a lot of the medical products that are prescribed to my clients just are not cutting it or they've been using the same prescription for four years and you know they've seen no results and it's expensive even the instellar that this particular client is prescribed is almost i think that they said uh, my my subscriber said the cheapest that they found it was like eight hundred dollars now her insurance pays for it and she's got a great insurance but for the average consumer you guys are just not going to be able to just you know afford a nine hundred dollar bottle of of spray for your scalp so I really want to work with some companies and, and, and just try some things out. So I have some lined up, have two companies lined up, actually one company that you're familiar with and another company that you may not be so familiar with, but they've reached out and I'm going to do some, some how to, some tutorials and some, um, you know, some research on, on that. And, um, I'll be happy to share all of that with you guys in the months to come. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you can get that bell ding with all of my videos and I do kind of want to remind you that this is a hairstylist page first so much of most of my videos are going to be geared towards the stylist mindset not so much the scratchers mindset so we welcome all of you to this platform but this is a platform for stylists first okay guys I love all of my new followers and I hope you guys um, subscribe and love on me just as much as I love on you guys and watch me grow and help me grow but you gotta know that I'm going to stay true to my initial audience This part is so important. We're going to towel dry her scalp. And, you know, you, we know to towel dry the hair, but a lot of times we don't towel dry the scalp. And when you run that towel over the scalp, it's almost like you're buffing it out. You're taking that surface and you're just smoothing it out. And when you smooth it, you'll see some of those scales still in there. Now, you know, when they're wet, they're, they're like flesh toned. So they're hiding and they're blending in with the skin and you know, when you're running your fingers over it, you're really just running your fingers over, you know, uh, raised patches so you can feel it. But with the gloves on, you can't really feel it like you could feel it if it was, you know, just your finger to it. So when you, when you towel dry it, you, 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 you expose some of that and you knock it away from the skin and you, and you know, you, you get, you get a, get a better feel. And then there's a little spot over here, this left side. It was, like I told you guys, it gives us the business every time, and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite side now, but you always got to be ready for some sneaky little suckers to pop up over there, and they do, and I'm ready for them every time. So yeah, okay, getting back to that, towel, the towel is definitely, definitely, definitely important, uh, and, and it's also important because when you go in with the product for the scalp, you want it to absorb.
Alright, we're coming to the end of the video and uh, to style her, since she did get a chemical relaxer and a color, her hair has been through a lot. Uh, we broke down her disulfide bonds, I built those back up again, you know, so now we're, we're just not going to put any heat on it. We don't want to do any dry, dry heat, so we're going to roller set it. And roller set it is going to lock in these curls without putting any heat on her hair, direct heat. And uh, it keeps it fluffy, builds up the integrity of the hair, so it can, you know, it, it needs a couple of days to, to, to normalize itself and, and get back, you know, to pre-chemical state. So thank you for hanging out with me on this journey. I can't wait for you guys to see the next video I'm about to upload. She came back a couple of weeks after we did this service, and I, I can let you guys see what her hair looks like, you know, without the extensions, finally. And I want you to see that. And I want everyone who's suffering from this to be able to, you know, identify and kind of complete, continue to share your remedies and everything, you guys. I just love the community that, that we're building here. So please share this video, like the video, and become a, a subscriber. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.